I'm gonna show you exactly what hardware parts you need to properly build a gaming PC with a high budget of about $1,400. No matter if you want to play resource intense games like Destiny 2 and Tomb Raider, or simpler games like Minecraft and Fortnite. Hello and welcome to Gaming PC Deals. Now, if you're new to me and this YouTube channel, we talk about all things gaming PCs and hardware, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out. Now, have you ever had the problem of not being able to play some really high quality games because your PC didn't have enough power or was simply just too old? Well, I want to show you exactly what parts you need to build an awesome gaming PC with a budget of about $1,400. And with the build I show you in this video, you can play every single game on this planet with high settings and high FPS for many years to come, so make sure to keep on watching. But we have a lot of parts to cover, so let's just jump right into it. The processor used in this build is the Ryzen 7 3700X. It has 8 cores and 16 threads with up to really impressive 4.4 GHz per core and it can easily deliver 100 plus FPS performance in the world's most popular games. I actually find it pretty amazing that you can get so much performance for such a low amount of money nowadays. In benchmarks it is on par with some of the most powerful Intel i9s and it also comes as a boxed version, therefore you get the cooler for free and in tests the temperatures for this processor were actually very stable. So in this price category, the Ryzen 7 3700X should definitely be the heart of this build. So with this processor, we are set when it comes to CPU performance. But when it comes to GPU performance, we want the GeForce RTX 2080 Super. It's one of the most insane graphics cards ever created by Nvidia. It is extremely reliable and provides incredible GPU performance. With 8GB GDDR6 and 15500MHz, it is also a graphics card that has so much power that this build is really future-proof and that you don't need to upgrade this build for a very long time to come. Now of course when we have such great CPU and GPU, we also need the RAM to support those and for that the RAM has to have at least 3.2GHz. Therefore I recommend 32GB with 3200MHz from Corsair. I would personally buy it in the form of 4 8GB RAM blocks because of a little speed boost due to interleaving and less replacement costs just in case one block breaks. But you can also just buy 2x16 if you want to upgrade more easily in the future, even though it's very unlikely that you would actually need to upgrade those 32GB in the next 10 years. I would be very interested if you would prefer 2x16GB or 4x8GB like me. You can tell me in the comments below. Of course the mainboard also has to fit all the components perfectly. The mainboard is also probably one of the two components people waste the most money on. So listen to me carefully, a more expensive mainboard does not affect performance. As long as your mainboard supports all the frequencies that you need, you are fine. And so for the hardware parts at hand, I recommend the MSI B450M Pro VDH Max. It supports all the frequencies that we need and we definitely don't need to spend more money on the motherboard to build an awesome gaming PC. For the flash memory, we want a super fast SSD and I recommend the PNY CS900 with 1TB. Probably every one of you already experienced a time where you always had to delete some files because your storage was just too full. Now with 1TB of space, this is very unlikely to occur. And since SSDs are very affordable right now, it's not necessary to buy a small SSD together with a larger HDD, but you can just easily buy a large SSD. For the power supply, I recommend the Corsair 650. It's a very reliable power supply from one of the finest manufacturers in the industry and it is also 80 plus bronze certified while being relatively inexpensive. In the end all the components of our $1400 gaming PC are installed in a Corsair mid-tower gaming case. It has an elegant and modern design with a mesh free front panel and enough space for all the parts. It also includes USB 3 ports, SSD support with up to 5 fan mounts plus one added 120mm fan. It's also very cheap and it looks very good. Of course you can find this build and the builds for all other price categories on my homepage. There I'm updating all the builds regularly so if you watch this video a few months from now then you can always go there and you will find all the latest builds with guaranteed best value for money. Like always you can find the links to the components in the description under this video. However tell me in the comments below if you plan on buying this setup and if you only plan on buying some parts of it then tell me which ones you want to buy. And of course make sure to subscribe to not miss out in the future. But for now, let's end this video. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one.